Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Gap Mixon to an army and SSV 843. Now, I'm going to be with Isla of Holland and Send Gaver. Alright, now of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon for more epic content. So, it's kind of like a war simulator from here on out, so let's jump straight into it. All right, so I'm going to be the yellow. Isle of Poland will be the red. Sengaver will be the green. Let's go. Um, Imboy Mistap. Power plant. And then, of course, we're going to go and gather the container. Very smart move here by Isle of Poland. Only one barracks as, of course, he's actually going to go for, well, you know, aviation. Here we go. Gathering the containers here. Okay, and I'm going to have to gather all the containers. Now, normally I would have gave that to Isle of Poland, but I didn't really give the Delta a chance for it is quite close, so I didn't take any chances. Sorry, Isle of Poland. You imboy. Alright, so he'll get the super container around here, as Blue Cerberus is here as well. Okay, HQ3 already. Wasp is now being produced. And, of course, a special vehicle factory. Delta, trying to be annoying. Okay, prevented that scout. Naval platform to avoid any Delta rush or whatever shenanigans. Meanwhile, going around here, there's already an action going on from two Wasp of both San Gabriel and also Lila Pollen. Since both of them has a very buffed account. Yeah. Oh, will that, will that fall? Oh, it does. Oh, wow. Send Gaver with a very bold move here with an alligator rushing towards that purple player's base before the platform even finishes. Oh, however, unfortunate that the platform actually finished along with the rocket tower. Okay, so uh, they are developing their base. Going HQ4, HQ4 here on my end as well. Additional avia factory as well as a vehicle factory here on my end. There you go. Alright, so there was like Vertex uh, trying to run rampant here from the blue player or Cap Mixon, since he is the blue player. So I'm going to have to move my porcupines around here with the support of Isle of Pollen's Hawks. Good riddance right there. Two Vertex for a Rifleman is actually a very, very good exchange. Okay, don't overstay your welcome there. Another Delta patrolling around there. Okay, so the servers is actually being targeted by those Hawks. And there goes the Vertex once again coming after the Hawk. Hawk maneuvered. Very good. Okay, Porcupines missiles missed. Well, they're, I mean, Porcupines, you know. Okay, again. One Vertex again for a nothing. <laughs> okay. Very good scout right there, and also good riddance. Seraphim from both the yellow... Oh, wow. Where, where is... Oh, there you go. Where is there no animation of the turbo or jet stream? Okay, so Seraphim landing. Blue player going to obtain that super container. Purple player is here as well. Meanwhile, I see here... Uh, two in army with the Delta trying to capture that container. Okay. There we go. I'm going to have to try and get rid of that. However... I managed to get rid of the Delta, however, Toon Army actually set that up as a bait for my army to come close, and then the Solaris jumps right in. Moving forward here, we see a Hawk, or a Vertex, trying to get rid of an Alligator, who's trying to get rid of the army, trying to get that Super Container. Okay. So, Toon Army will get the Super Container, as well as the Blue and the Purple Player, or Cap Mix in her SSB. And here we go. To an army with three Zeus or four Zeus, two Typhoons, a Shield, a Cerberus, and a Solaris coming over my way. Well, yeah, Solaris is cheaper, of course. And here we go. Units are streaming in. Blue player Seraphim walking towards my uh, path. 
or towards my direction here goes Sengaber with the save of the mole turrets deployed right there with the servers jumping right in to reveal any units that's inside the fog that supply center will definitely fall just servers jump from toon army jumping right straight to my chameleon in an attempt to annihilate it leviathan here popping out on my end Okay, Leviathan from San gave it as well, service from the SSB. And we're gonna have to try and amp up this uh, thing. The nuclear's been dropped, boom! Okay, Alapala with the support here of the Hawks. Vertex starting San Gabriel's Leviathan. However, that Cerberus is still standing there for a long time. Okay, now those Hawks are taking a beating from the Typhoons of SSB. Alright, and that's gonna be all for that fight. Okay, I'm gonna have to move forward here and of course assess my dominance over my dominant my my dom my my base. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we see here the Solaris launching their skill! Ooh man! Man, good thing that I was not as close because if I was a bit closer, that would have been insta death. Alright, Chameleon ran out here from uh San Gaber. And the nuclear here from me will not hit but severely damaging some of the uh, typhoons from Toon Army and then he'll go and retreat my wasp did fall and so on albatross here from my love Bolland, and non-stop production of those um hawks there from their end meanwhile looking at cap mixon's base is looking steady here with all the vertex that he has a beholder that's popped out right there and a good chunk of army from Toon Army just looking at it here purple player has that Lol. Okay, now Vertex. Trying to fish. Oh man, they actually managed to pick up a hawk. Activating the chameleon, saving it from those Vertex. Sengaber actually moving forward here in an offensive position in the middle of the map. And I tried to uh, have Isla Paul and scout the shipyard so that I won't be surprised for any with any of those annoying shenanigans. However, the Vertex around here. They tried to go on patrol mode while that beholder revealed everything or scanned. That Seraphim will absolutely fall with Sun Gavers or from Sun Gavers, Porcupines, and Leviathan. Okay, here in my end, I'm gonna have to try and move out as well. Let's see how this plays out. Porcupines now spread out to, of course, act as an anti air in Zona at the Vertex, giving I Love Pollen more freedom to move in with his Hawks. Very good force firing here by to an army annihilating my Jaguars here as well as my Chameleon. And there you go again with the Clash of Steel. Albatross jumping in to land those bombs. Dropping those bombs from the air. Aviation and it's absolute chaos right here from the blue player or the yeah blue player's Vertex. Solars of the Purple launching the skill. Wasp, Leviathan Nuke and Kablooey. However, my army is not really looking good here as I only have like four, um, yeah, four Jaguars right there. Servers jumping in straight in the fog. Nuclear from San Gabriel annihilated the army of the Purple Player or SSB's um, army. Meanwhile, as San Gabriel will now assist me in terms of dealing with Toon Army along with the help of the Hawks of Isla Poland right there. Vertex to destroy everything that's been revealed or um, outside the chameleon fog range since this chameleon ran out of energy I presume there you go I'm trying to save my uh, porcupines and chameleons to of course fight another day as I no longer have any jaguars regardless if I have a chameleon or not since well technically blast radius of those weapons are kind of insane all right so we're going to have to take our losses in retreat Toon army's army is still standing strong and we're gonna have to go and uh, move back as I don't really have a ton of Jaguars here on my end although I do have two factories and three special vehicle factory and so on okay we see Therese Solaris here a Seraphim and here we go SSB Solaris is coming in to attack to an army with the, his Solaris and Capmix and Solaris is here as well Wasp died before he even threw or she even threw the acid strike. There it goes now. Actually, Lug Imboy here on my end. Okay, Lug Imboy. <laughs> I was not able to switch boost and control my Leviathan. 
An epic bombing run from those albatross from Isle of Poland right there. There you go. Those hawks are scoring a good hit on those vertex. And, ooh, not hitting a single thing there uh, by uh, Toon Army. This Solaris will absolutely be destroyed as it is microed badly. Toon Army with the good micro here. And now a nuclear from Sengaber. Let's see how this goes. Acid strike, I guess. Boom! Landing at the same time. Not really that much damage. And we see here two Solaris ganging up on my army. Or what's left over it. Meanwhile, Sengaber dealing with Seraphim. As well as a small chunk of army from SSB. Isle of Pollen with the support of those Hawks right there. Dealing with the shield. Absolutely managed to snipe off one. One more shield is here. No more Zeus is available. Just two Solaris, Seraphim, Beholder, Typhoons. And oh! Some nasty hits right there. However, did not kill a single Vertex. Thanks to the Porcupine's missile being crappy. You see? They're not hitting. Yay. Porcupine boy. Okay, now that Hawk definitely ran out of fuel. Leviathan from Isle of Poland. Let's see here. Going HQ level 5 here and expanding his base as Cap Mixon. Toon Army, non stop unit production. And then, of course, SSB with the three naval platforms. And from what I can see here, Sand Gabriel is actually being very sneaky here as he doesn't really or did not really lose a ton of uh, stuff from SSB since. Uh, both Cap Mixon's heroes are on my side of the base and are trying to get rid of me as fast as possible. There goes one Vertex has been destroyed, however severely damaging that Leviathan from Isle of Poland. There you go. And so, Hawks here flying around from Isle of Poland. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, solid hit on that Solaris. Is it covered? Yeah, is it, it is covered by the shield. Okay, they're asking me to move forward. However, I only have like five Jaguars. No, seven Jaguars around here and three pork, uh, three, uh, no, four chameleons. And I got like a Leviathan in production along with the Wasp. All right. And so here we go. The engagement. Solaris skill has been launched. Okay, Seraphim skill has been launched. Oh man, there's like two moles here from both Isle of Poland. And there goes Acid Strike. Solid hit right there. And there goes the Hawk to follow up. Again, another nuclear from Sengaber destroying the, the army right off the get-go. Plus an Albatross bombing run. Although that that uh, Leviathan from Isle of Poland, I think, will definitely fall. I also pushed here to, uh, of course, accommodate their attack or to escort their attack. Maul here has been deployed along with the turret here on my end. Vertex trying to get rid of those uh, Leviathan. One Leviathan has uh, died, and uh, mine has just been produced. There you go. Oh, Vertex solid hit. Porcupine support is insane from Sengaver as well. And here we go right here on my end. There's like a ton more buildings here, making it hard for me to position my army effectively for my Chameleon to cover, as I need plenty of Chameleon to cover my entire army given the obstructions of these buildings or houses in this map layout. Okay, I love Poland here with the support of the mole, repairing my mole as well. And here we go, my Leviathan, along with the Acid Strike. There we go, let's see how this turns out. Boom! Solid hit, annihilating to an army's uh, army. And that, of course, trying to get rid of that Solaris, as well as the Seraphim from, from Cap Mixon. I love Poland with the follow-up of those uh, Hawks, destroying a chunk of shield. There goes the Vertex Trin. Oh man, that's a very good interception. And again, a ton of porcupines dealt that much damage to a Vertex, not destroying a single one because, well, they're porcupines. Okay now, those Hawks are threading lightly on a thin, thin slit there. Man, what an insane battle. Okay, we see the alligators here. We see there's six alligators. And then now... Isle Poland is signaling to scout this area. Both the Solaris of Cap Mixon and SSB is in this location to support SSB. Toon Army with the newly produced army. Okay, Hawk to scout to see what's going on. If there will be any space shenanigans 
No, there won't be. However, for Avia Factories, my man, Cat Mixon ain't joking around with those Aviation Power, man. Oh, absolutely hitting nothing there. There goes with my Chameleon Fog. Boom! Just like that, it's gone right out the window. Again, with the Wasp Acid softening them up. Oh, Thor Bombing Run annihilated my Chameleon. Okay, will that be destroyed? No, it won't be destroyed because, of course, I have Porcupines that has garbage damage on level 3 armor. Okay, there you go. Okay, another Thor right here making its bombing run. Solid hit. However, there's not enough Thor. Thor has been a... Wow. <laughs> that one Thor just evaporated along with some Vertex. And we see here Sengaver with good positioning, however, with no Chameleon. And let's see here. Boom! Nuclear coming from my end or dropping on my end. However, I don't really have any more Jaggers right here as again, there's like a ton of obstruction here. And it's really making it hard for me to deliver or be in position. And ooh, solid bombing run with those Thor. Let's see. That will be destroyed with the insane amount of Porcupine from our side. Ooh, nasty hit right there to Solaris. And again, another nuclear from Alapolin's uh, Leviathan dealt a huge chunk of damage. However, some army still stands from Toon Army. Okay, some missiles are not hitting again. However, both the hero of Sandgaver is actually on this side of the base, dropping a nuke as well as softening them up with the acid strike. Right after, the alligator is going to follow up an attack right here to destroy and demolish those naval platforms, giving send gave her the opportunity to lay waste on this side of the map so uh, as is beacon like will have a hard time defending this army right in front of him and also dealing with this army however with the thor bombing run being as good as good as a hit as it is demolishing or lowering down the hp of those alligators now they're so low on hp man insane Ooh, one Vertex has been destroyed. Albatross to follow up. Let's see how that goes. Boom! Solid hit. However, that X facility, I presume, is maxed out. Vertex here. Solaris from SSV and Toon Army. Boom! Man, solid hit. Passive with the moles has just been activated. Solaris of SSV has been annihilated. More alligators here. And Hawks trying to... Uh, Trying to exterminate that Solaris out of existence while that one Vertex just uh, scored a <laughs> two birds with one stone. And again, I'm going to reinitiate my attack here along with the Leviathan nuclear again. Let's see. Acid strike. Boom. Although, well, the nuke dropped first before the acid. Yeah. You knew, Tracy. Oh, nasty bombing run. Disgusting damage, destroying the mole along with the a lot of porcupines and an army there from Sandgaver. However, the attacker is still ongoing. Server is jumping right in the middle of my army. Leviathan, Duke from Isle of Fallen, demolishing a bunch of stuff right there with the acid strike from the class 11 wasp. Oh my goodness, dude. And here we go now. Oh, there's no porcupine around here. Only the alligator. Two alligators are acting as a porcupine or anti-air. However, the army is here is still not done. And there you go. Those hawks from Isle of Poland actually annihilated the shield. Along with bringing justice out of that Solaris. For annihilating so many units with its explosion radius alone. Solaris sub Cat Mixon will also be demolished as well. Along with... Oh. Gotta say, that's a solid bombing run. <laughs> okay, now lads, that's absolutely insane. Now those hawks are actually roaming around the Cat Mixon's base and exterminating those stores while they are docked. Now some stores actually undocked here. Let's see where they will bomb. Mm, did not really hit anything. There you go. My Leviathan is pushing forward as there's not really that much vertex around here. Only four vertex. My Leviathan ain't scared of four vertex or even five. However, there's like an anti-air and a typhoon here, so I'm going to have to retreat and not take my chances and lose my Leviathan. SSB, uh, SSB's base has been penetrated by Zengaver right there, destroying the construction yard, preventing further construction. 
of any buildings from SSB. What a very wise choice there from from uh, Sandgaber. And now the alligators are here trying to target the HQ as well as act in an anti-air as an anti-air to zone out those aviation from Cap Mixon. One tower will be demolished. Meanwhile, here on my end, I'm actually trying to get rid of Toon Army and I believe that's it. Wow. Insane. There you go. GG, man. GG. Alright. Well, if you guys like this video, again, subscribe for more content. Ring the bell icon to be notified of upcoming contents similar to this intense epic battle. Of course, um, I do have guides playlists if you would like to check and uh, learn how to play or become better at playing this game, such as, um, you know, polishing your build order, how fast you can get your container, or how to earn credits golden tokens for free within the game. Likewise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. And don't forget to leave a comment for this video. I'd highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with your battles. Yay! Resistance Imbui! Yes, GG teams and Gaver Imbui. I love Poland Imbui. Tracy Noob. Tracy Noob <laughs> with Class 8 Leviathan. Class 7 was Class 7 Mole. Yay! GG. Bye now.